In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a business process flowchart design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, uh, I've got three processes which I have to decide. So uh, this is my starting point. Then I have to take a decision which to which process I'm going to go with process one, two or three. And then we have to take an action and that's the end. So let's see how to create this simple process flowchart in PowerPoint. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. You can add the shapes either from the basic shapes or you can use this grouping which is called the flowchart. So I'm going to choose this one hold the shift key I'm going to make it a small one maybe 1.1 only all right and then shape outline I'm going to use this blue color shape fill I'm going to make it as no fill and make sure that this is aligned properly and then go to the insert text box I'm going to start type the word start and I'm going to choose the same font blue if you want you can make it bold also center align and put it here exactly in the center now i'm going to select both of these shapes press ctrl g to group it so this is my starting point and hold the ctrl shift key and bring this one and this is my end okay and then i've got three process which i have to decide so let me just go insert shapes from the flow chart i'm going to choose this one which is the alternate process so these three processes i would like to choose from so shape outline again same blue color shape fill make it no fill if you want you can just increase the weight also here and this one i'm putting it exactly this one in the center and then I'm, I'm going to add hold the control shift key drag this up and hold the control shift key drag this down and make sure that equal spacing is there so and to uh, to uh, to make a decisions we have to add one decision box here so go to insert shapes from the flow chart, I'm going to choose the diamond shape, which is the decision. Again, hold the shift key, and this is where I would like to take the decision. The same thing, I can just either select this one, go to the home, shape format, format painter, and click it here, right? And then this one, control C, the text, control V outside, and then I'm going to make this as decision. All right, so this is my decision and my decision I can it can go with anyone so control D to duplicate and then this is I'm going to say process one hold the control shift key this is the process two and this is the three all right and then you can add one more shape where my what will be my action and then and okay if I take the process one my action process 2 or process 3 so this is process 2 actually yeah so now for that go to insert shapes and you can just choose maybe this one which is you can see a flowchart data is there we have got a different uh, set of so let me just choose this one if i want i can just move it a little bit towards the right so here this is my action again i'm going to copy the same with the help of the format painter and make sure it is center align and then control d to duplicate here i will say action and then the end all right so before doing the animation make sure that this is all grouped together okay if you want otherwise if you don't want also it's better to group it always okay then once this is done is my job is simple i just need to connect with the help of the arrow so go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this one line arrow from this to this again shape outline the same color maybe you can increase the weight here then press ctrl d again here this one it should come and connect with this one but it's not looking good so right mouse click connector type and i'm going to say connector elbow it changes here right press ctrl d now come back here and select this one ctrl d select here and here 
all right so again make sure that it is not aligned properly okay it will not join okay so then the next one is the same thing press control d so this is with uh, this one all right and then here also it is with this to this end and from here also i'm going to do the same thing press control d to duplicate this will come here this arrow will come here control d again from here this will come here we can see here our design is done again if you want you can just add some simple icons to it